Hey, this is Lisa from the Danville Public Library in Danville, Illinois, and we have an outdoor story walk. So we're going to take you on a walk today. So come on over. It's on the south side of our building. You can kind of see the building here. So it's on the back side. And we're going to go on over here, and it's on the windows. So follow me. with the Vermont Bicycle and Pedestrian Coalition and the Kellogg Hubbard Library. So we're going to present this week, this month, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long, he hears. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickly, clack, moo to investigate. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. So they left a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found an old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. What? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Oh no, they're teaming up on him. The cows were growing impatient with Farmer Brown. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk, no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets you are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good idea. 
he left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. And there they are with their electric blankets. <laughs> The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. And it looks like they got their diving board. The end. Thank you for joining us on our story walk and come on over to the Danville Public Library and go ahead and do your own story walk. And if you like it, tell us on Facebook. Thank you. Have a good day.